interested in preserving the history of computing? Well, computers are a big deal. They are changing the world. They're changing how we work, how we play, how we interact with each other. Everything we do is now mediated with computers. Our civilization depends on computers and it runs on software. Imagine what would happen if all of the software that you interact with every day would suddenly disappear. You couldn't drive your car, you couldn't purchase anything in the store, you couldn't do any business transactions. It would be uh, amazingly disruptive to society. It's one of the, the four or five top inventions, technological inventions ever in the world. It's up there with the printing press and the, and the wheel and the uh, cotton gin. Um, it, it is like the engines of the industrial revolution that were amplifiers for the body, but the computer is the amplifier for the mind. It's making us smarter. The amazing thing about it compared to the industrial revolution is that it's happened in such a compressed time. We are living through the time when we're making a transition from there being no computers anywhere to there being computers in everything we touch. Because we are that privileged generation, we owe it to the future, to the people who come after us, to preserve the artifacts and the stories of how that happened. We are here with Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. We have to record the history of how that happened. Now is the time to do it. The pioneers, the people to the left of us, are still here to tell their stories, and we need to take advantage of that. That's why it's important for us to do what we're doing here. How did this institution come to be? Well, it was the convergence of two different dreams. One is a dream I had about 15 years ago when I was teaching at Stanford a graduate course in computer design and realized that engineers were no longer learning the history of their field. And although that was probably the right way to teach computer design, I thought it was sad that there was history that was not being taught. And as I thought about it, it was a wider problem. It was not just engineers that were not learning about it, it was the wider public not learning about it. And here we are in Silicon Valley, which is the center of the world for computers, and we don't have a computer museum. What's wrong with that? So I decided that was going to be my retirement project, a computer museum for Silicon Valley. So I started looking around for other examples and looked at all of the computer museums in the world, of which there was one, the Computer Museum in Boston. <coughs> and it was a museum that had fallen on hard times, and I met with Gwen and Gordon Bell, who were the founders of the museum, and we basically hatched this plot to, to reboot it in Silicon Valley. So to make a long story short, over a period of the last 15 years, we moved the Computer History Museum to uh, Silicon Valley. Um, we we uh, hung out at Moffett Field for a number of years in some Quonset huts where we had this extraordinary collection that they had begun in Boston, which we expanded many fold while we were here. Uh, in 2001, we uh, bought this uh, building, uh, which some people joke is the largest artifact in our collection because it <coughs> used to be the, the sales and marketing headquarters of Silicon Valley. And we've gone on to do a number of milestones. Uh, and the most recent milestone, of course, is the opening of the Revolution exhibit. Well, how did that come to be? Um, it's very difficult writing history in a contemporary subject because the people who participated in that history are still around to argue with what you've done. <laughs> if you do Civil War history, they're all dead. But if you do computer history, many of them are still alive and will argue with you. So it was a difficult process to, to curate this exhibit. I wound up being lead curator, which means I was the decider to decide what goes in, what goes out, but we've tried to tell the complete story. Uh, we involved many hundreds of people, uh, pioneers, experts, historians, other curators from other institutions. Our secret sauce, our wizard, was Kirsten Tashev, our vice president of uh, exhibitions and collections, who did an amazing job of keeping us all in line and keeping us all on schedule and creating this exhibit. Uh, it is truly a collaborative effort. Um, it is, as John said, an exhibit not necessarily for techies, it is an exhibit for the general public. And it is an exhibit that will live. Uh, there will be things that were, are wrong that we'll correct. Uh, there are things that are missing that we'll add as we have the space to do it. Um, and it is one of a series of milestones for this institution. It is not the end of the construction of the museum. We are trying here to construct a institu an institution that will live forever and uh, will be around 100 years from now to continue to tell the story of the information revolution because it isn't over yet. So thank you for being here.